Welcome to the first part of that map making course uh, where I will try to teach you how to make maps for Quickspill using only QGIS which is a free software. In the forum discussion of the Discord and the map making course you have all the uh, information and links needed for this course. So first you will have to download QGIS which is a free software uh, it offers to pay to install but you can simply skip and access the actual download link. Then I also sent you another link for open topography. Uh, so this is a website from which we'll get our elevation data for our map. So how it works, it's uh, simple. The um, European Space Agency has a few satellites that are surveying the world and trying to get uh, digital elevation data by uh, LIDAR. And so it mapped pretty much the uh, whole world. And the data has a resolution of uh, 30 meters, uh, which is more than enough for what will uh, be using it at uh, operational scale it's even larger than uh, what we need so uh, you selected a battlefield you will have to find it on the map you might have to help yourself using uh, Google Maps as well and let's say that it's that area you will simply click select a region click and drag above the area that you need if you make a mistake, you can simply click select region again. Below, you won't change anything, so data output format will be GeoTIFF. We won't need any of those extra files. And you can go straight to the bottom. You have to choose a title, so it can be example. And also type in your email address. Um, the website will send you a mail once you get the data and you can click submit. Uh, I've already done it. Uh, it's uh, roaming and afterwards you can get a download link for a file. So that's the file that you'll be downloading. It's rasters underscore cop30 and you can simply extract it. I will extract it here and you'll get that file that you can't read. Uh, it's a TIFF. TIFF is a, an image format um, and your computer might not be able to read it. You also have downloaded and installed QGIS and when you open it up you will arrive here. You will go to project top left and click new. Once you created once you've created a new project you'll simply click and drag the um, data that you have. So that's an elevation data. Um, it's simply pixels and for each pixels there's an elevation value stored in that data. So black is low in altitude and white is high. The um, So QGIS is a um, map making tool and what's interesting is that it can handle um, data for each layer. It's kind of like an Excel spreadsheet but with uh, spatial data as well. Uh, we won't go any further. You don't need to know more, I think. <laughs> so uh, we will simply go on. So first we will uh, install the few plugins that you need to make a map. So you will go into plugins, manage and install plugins. It's opening up and in the whole you will simply search for the few plugins that I have listed. So for example if I search generalizer you can simply click on it and then click, click on install. On my computer it's already installed so I've got a few here. Then once you've got everything installed, we'll have uh, our first few basic layers. You will go into 
uh, here, which is Open Data Source Manager. You will click it and go directly to XYZ. Click here and you will have new connections. So you can click on new, you will have to select a name and then uh, and then type in the URL uh, which I've also linked in the uh, Discord post. So for example, I've added Google Sat, OpenStreetMap and how it happens is that uh, QGIS will get the information from that URL and display the uh, layer in uh, the uh, software. So if we add, for example, let's add OpenStreetMap, I can click on Add, Close, and it added another layer. And what might seem surprising to you is that the uh, data you do you've downloaded earlier is actually uh, georeferenced, which means that it will align perfectly with the OpenStreetMap data. As you can see, that road over here is on top of the uh, base layer. You can uh, click here and here to display or hide uh, various layers, and you can also shift them underneath one another. So for example, if I put that one on top, it will hide the OpenStreetMap layer. But I can also double click on a layer. Let's double click it and go into transparency and change the transparency if I want to be uh, able to see both layers, for example. But I won't do that. What we'll do afterwards is um, learn how to different to how to sorry how to georeference a map. So, if you're trying to make a map for a specific battlefield, you might have an historical map on hand that you wanna get some information of. And I do as well. So, what we will do is go into raster. No, my bad layer, geo referencer, click on that, then we can add both types of layers, so raster layers or vector layers. Uh, let's say that raster layer is the uh, is an image, it's made of pixels, while vector layer is actually um, lines that are made uh, from uh, algorithm and most image that you will have will be rasters. So we would click on open raster. I will go into downloads and select the map that I've downloaded. Uh, I found it online. So here it is. Double click on that. So it's actually a World War I map of that area. And I can, I could have imported it uh, without georeferencing but the problem is that it won't overlay with the uh, map I actually have. So we will try to overlay it. So here we'll be trying to look for um, points that we can easily spot on nowadays uh, OpenStreetMap. So for example, uh, there is the village of Puzo, which is over here, and we can see that it has, yes, I think here, it has a church marked on the map, a small chapel maybe. I will click on that, I will try to be precise here, and then I will click uh, enter map coordinates, so I will select it from the canvas. Let's put that below, I will go in the city of Puzo and try to see if I can find the church and there's one just over here so it might be that one let's try and click on that one then I will press OK and I have a first point what I will do next is look for other points of interest there's another village here called Punchy which has another church here so I will click on it from map canvas go to Punchy 
and select the church once again. Here we go. Okay. And then let's try to find all the points. Maybe some a bit further away. The larger and more spaced out your points are, the uh, better your georeferencing will be. Uh, let's say I can mark that uh, cross check section here in between the railroad and the road. I think I can find it. Let's try. I can click it from map canvas. Here it is. It's just over here. Let's click it. OK. So see now that I have three points, it's shifting them around. Uh, maybe I will delete the first one because the church must, might have been moved and I'm pretty sure about the second and third one. So the first point will be disabled. And we'll look for another one. Um, is there a church here? Maybe there is a village. Okay, here's there's a river crossing the uh, the uh, railroad. I might choose that and see if I can see the river on the map. It should be further west. I cannot see it, so I will simply click somewhere else. Cancel my point. Sorry, it's taking so much time. So let's go to Lyons. For example, there's a crossroad here. Let's see if I can find it from map. Lyons, yes, it's just over here. So let's place down that crossroad. Press OK. And I think I've got enough points. Um, oops, sorry. OK, let's zoom in. So as you can see now, my points only have a small shift, uh, which means they might be uh, more precisely placed than before. Once I am done and satisfied with my points, I will click here, start georeferencing. I can I have to select output file name, so it will be test simply dot tiff which is the uh, file format we'll be using click on ok and now we can click on play again and it will georeference the layer Okay, it is done, I think. Yes, your re reference was successful. I can simply close that window. Uh, I will not save my points, it doesn't matter. And now I have the actual map, which is overlaid over the uh, OpenStreetMap dat data and the uh, elevation data. It's not perfect as you can see here it's ok, here it's ok but you can refine it if you need. I can change its opacity maybe it will be easier to see. Apply, ok. So as you can see the railroad is following. Here we can see the road that was already there before Yep, pretty much there's only a few things that changed. Okay, so 
so that now that I've done it that means that I will have easier uh, work to do if I was to uh, for example place down the trenches on my map and I think that will be all for now